Jaime Mungia versus Demetrius Ballard. Ballard. It's official. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So fight is scheduled for 12 rounds in the middleweight division to take place on the 19th of February. February 19, 2022. Live on the zone around the world except for over in Mexico. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure... You, I'm sure you guys know where to watch it over in Mexico. But anyway, uh, yeah, the venue has yet to be decided. Uh, they have to still find the venue for this fight. But uh, February 19, 2022 is the date. WBO Intercontinental Middleweight title will be on the line in this fight. Um, <laughs> did you guys know that Mungia can basically fight for a world title right now if he wants to? Did you guys know that? All he has to do is just say, yeah, I want to fight for the world title. I want to fight for the world title. But he isn't. For whatever reason, he's holding out and waiting, waiting for Demetrius Andrade to give up that belt so that he can finally try to pursue and activate his mandatory status as a WBO mandatory challenger. Because he's basically the WBO, man WBO uh, mandatory challenger right now. He's number one ranked by the WBC as well. Number two by the WBA. Number 12 by the IBF. But for the WBO, if you guys don't know, there's a special ruling. Is when you move up in weight as a champion for the WBO, you can be the mandatory challenger for that next division. For that division you're moving up to. Mungia used to be the champion at 154. He vacated that title, moved up to 160, and has all this time to fight for a world title. But here he is, instead of fighting Demetrius Andrade, that's why Andrade has been ordered to fight Johnny Beck Alim Kanuli instead. Because Mungia, for, for whatever reason, well, we know the reason. We know the reason why he doesn't want Andrade. He doesn't want that smoke. That's basically what it is. Let's call it what it is. He doesn't want that smoke. Um, he doesn't want to fight Andre. He's he's ducking Andre, and here he is fighting Demetrius Ballard, who he was supposed to fight last year, uh, if I remember correctly, back in April. Um, I can't remember the reason why it didn't happen. I'm I think was it COVID related or an injury? I can't remember exactly why it did not happen. But they were supposed to fight back in April of last year, and Ballard. Um, ended up fighting back in November against Paul Venezuela. Prior to that, he did not fight at all in almost two years, um, and somehow it's you know it's remained undefeated. And here he is fighting Mungia, who is coming off a very good win against Gabe Rosado, very very good win. And fighting Baylor, in my opinion, is a step down in competition. But you know, I guess he really does not want to fight. Demetrius Android for that belt. So anyway, I'll keep you guys updated on where exactly this fight will be taking place. I'm sure it's going to take place most likely somewhere in the West Coast or Texas. Um, that's my prediction. Um, I mean, that's where most Mexican Americans are. So uh, most likely, most likely California. I feel like I think it will most likely be in California. But anyway, live on the zone. I'll definitely be tuning in February 19, 2022. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.